highest accuracy game I've ever played that didn't end in less than 20 moves, mostly because opponent didn't resign. Normally, I play B3, but my coach recommended learning D4 structures since B3 is basically a weaker D4. First game of D4, pretty good result if I say so myself. Uh, yeah, thanks for writing all that. Uh, white is 1747 and black is 1696. It's a 10-minute game on chess.com. Oh, my God. He played D4. Yeah. He didn't play B3. Oh, well, give me a second. I mean, basically, it's like B3 is a poor man's D4. Have you been getting a lot of B3 tonight? No, that's he wrote that. When I was reading that stuff, you were ignoring. Oh. He was like, I play B3, and my coach told me to play D4, <laughs> and B3 is like a worse version of D4. Yeah, I wasn't well, listening to any of that. I yeah, read, I know. I was reading the chat. The chat yeah. was more important than, you know, whatever. That is true. <laughs> I was trying to catch up. Okay, so let's let's continue. <clears throat> He played B3 on move two. That's the funniest thing of the day. I didn't play B3 on move one. I wanted to play D4 like my coach told me. Then he plays D4, then he plays B3 the next one. That's very funny. The guy doesn't know that's funny, but it's funny. That's very funny. He might know. I don't know if he knows. That'll teach his coach. <laughs> oh, man, if I was his coach and I told him to play D4 instead of B3... And then he played B3 on move two. I'd be like, what? Hey, is there a command for uh, how people can submit games? No. Uh, it's impossible, right? No, I think I thought there was a command. Oh, maybe. Only only the, my mods know, like CL Smith and trying to learn and, and tensor extension. It's not chat. There it is. Exclam analysis. There we go. I thought we had one. It didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's the Nightbot. It did and then work. Nightbot Sassan, said something else. It worked when Sisson did it. We're nine subs away from a thousand. We need nine subs. Okay, G6, Knight F3. All right, so we transposed for to B3 opening. This looks like my game with Rusa Dangolatiani that has been posted on our YouTube page like yesterday. From 2006. Yeah, bishop, ta bishop G4, bishop takes is just black giving away the two bishops for no reason. That's why his name is opponent. Knight E4 dubious. That is a dubious move. Rookie H just hangs the D-pawn. I mean, let me, let me try to reread this. So it's correct. Okay? Like, you, I read it before. Now I'm going to read you the correct version. Low accuracy game. I didn't play that well. My opponent blundered frequently, gave me the two bishops, hung his d-pawn with another fork in mind, and my coach told me not to play b3 on move one, so I played it on move two. That'll show my coach. That's what she should have wrote at the beginning. But instead he wrote, I'm the greatest, and... I didn't play B3 on move one and so forth. The best game I've ever played. What? I mean, yeah. Well, rookie eight's not a very good move. You did take, so that's good. <clears throat> Rook F8 after playing rookie eight? I mean, every move your opponent makes is bad, so no wonder you played well. I love it when they play bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy win. Yeah, he plays rook g6, allowing f5. Yeah. That's check. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lafong Hua. All I know about Lafong Hua is he's not vegan. That's all I know about him. I know nothing else. Yay, thanks, Lafong. Also, I think he's Canadian. Yeah. 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 He was going to raid me an hour ago, but it took him an hour to do it because he's Canadian. <laughs> All right, so basically white's playing great and black is not playing great. And then black resigned. Yeah, white did nothing that bad that game except for knight e4. 
But then e4 is okay. It doesn't give up a big advantage or anything. But yeah, then your opponent started playing badly. And after the game, he changed his name to opponent, or bad opponent. I mean, he hung his d-pawn, then he hung his e-pawn. His e-pawn was protected if he moved his rook up, but he did that. Then he played knight h5, hanging more material. Then in this position, he played rook g6, hanging his rook. Then I think he had to lose his knight. Then he got a check. That was pretty good. Anyway, it looks like you just made up the game and you play bad moves for black and you're like, look how great I am. That's what I think happened. I think that's why you wrote opponent. You just made some bad moves for him and so forth. Anyway, that was a crushing victory, which begs the question why you're only 50 points higher than him when you play about 1,000 points higher than him. So I'm going to have to refer this game to Kramnik and, and explain that it's very interesting. No, it was 27 moves. 21 would be very funny. That's the best game of the stream so far? Man, tough stream. <laughs> right, now I'm going to tell Karen, then she won't believe me, and then I can show her. Then she'll have to believe me. Ready? Mm -hmm. The first game I looked at this stream, the first game, mm -hmm. 120 moves. Wow. And it was Rook versus Knight, and they played for like 40 moves. And, and then the guy lost on time with the knight. Mm. That, that's a lot of moves. That's holding. I guess I'll... We'll be done soon. Mm -hmm. I'll just end, end it. That'll show him. Well, he's called twice. Damn. 